In Revit Architecture, you use the Grid tool to place column grid lines in the building design. You can then add columns along the column grid lines. When you use the Grid tool, you can specify points to position grid lines, or you can select elements you want to line the grid lines up with. Then you specify where you want the grid bubble to be located. Watch as I place several vertical grid lines to line up with the walls in my project. Then I add a horizontal grid line. I actually want this grid line to line up with the wall next to it, so I simply select the existing grid line and drag it to move it. Notice that I can specify either side or the center of the walls to line the grid line up with. I can also reposition grid lines by entering values in the temporary dimensions that are displayed when I select a grid line. Now I can easily add columns to the grid intersections. Right now I only have rectangular columns to select from, so I add some that are 24 inch square. Next I load a family that defines a more fancy column for the front of this home. Once I have the family loaded, I can select the existing columns and change them to the new family type. I view the model in 3D to see how the columns line up with the roof. Notice that the columns are higher and extend through the roof. I can use the Properties palette to change the height of the columns. I indicate that I want the top of the column to be offset one foot lower than the roof to compensate for the overhang. 